Hello everyone. In this final project I am going to explore genetic algorithm and apply it to a simple game called Eating Cheese. The game setup is very simple. There are some random pieces of cheese in a 2D grid. Jerry has 200 seconds to find and eat as many pieces as possible because Tom will be back home in 200 seconds. Very simple rule and boring game, right? Now, let's add some restrictions and make the game interesting. First, Jerry is too old and has bad memory. He can't remember where he was and what he did last second. And second, Jerry is nearsighted, he can only see what are in the current cell and four neighbor cells. Now you can see why this game is tricky. It is an optimization problem with incomplete information. You will see why this simple game is interesting in a minute. Here is a formal definition of the game. The map is 10 by 10 surrounded by walls. Each cell can be either empty, cheese or a wall. Jerry can take one of the seven actions, including moving to four directions, moving to a random direction, eating, and doing nothing. Each action takes one second and Jerry has 200 seconds, meaning he can take 200 actions in total. The goal is to maximize the amount of cheese Jerry eats within 200 seconds. If there weren't those restrictions, Jerry can just use some graph theory to find a shortest path that contains as many pieces of cheese as possible. But with restrictions, clearly, Jerry can only decide given the current states of five cells in a greedy manner. No more information is available. How do we solve this game? Well, in general we could compose a strategy table, for each possible state, we assign an appropriate action. Jerry can see the states of five cells, and each cell can have three possible states. That's 3 to the power of 5 equal to 243 states. All we need to do is to fill the table with 243 actions corresponding to the 243 states. Actually, 243 entries are still complicated for human. Instead, we can use some handcraft heuristics. For example, when there is a piece of cheese in the current cell, the action is eating it. Otherwise, if there are cheeses in one of the neighbors, go to that direction. If all empty, move to a random direction. You may ask me, what's wrong with our simple heuristic? Isn't it good enough? Well, here is an interesting scenario. There are pieces of cheese in Jerry's current cell, the above cell and the cell to the right. Here is a question for you. What action should Jerry take to guarantee that he will eat all the three pieces of cheese? Feel free to pause here and think about it for a minute. It turns out Jerry's optimal action is moving right or moving up instead of eating the cheese in the current cell. This way, we can make sure Jerry eats all three pieces. There are numerous tricky scenarios like this and it's simply too hard for human to figure out an optimal strategy for all 243 states. Now let's talk about why genetic algorithm can be a good way to solve this game. The basic idea is to let the theory of natural selection to find good strategies so that we don't need to worry about it by ourselves. Here are some reasons why genetic algorithm fits the game's setup. First reason, it's easy to use a string of digits to represent a strategy. We use a single digit from 0 to 6 to represent an action, and then use a string of 243 digits to represent a strategy for all 243 states with some predefined order. This string contains all the information Jerry needs to make an action under all possible states. We call this string genes, or a chromosome. The second reason is that crossover is easy on two chromosomes. We could generate a child by combining genes from two parents and we expect their offspring have similar traits as their parents. Here are the steps for a genetic algorithm, I won't go through it due to the time limit. But at a high level, we expect our Jerry in each generation to have better performance and eat more cheese thanks to natural selection. Hopefully we will have a very smart Jerry who can figure out some near-optimal strategies at some point and beats our simple heuristic algorithm. Let's do some summary here. There are a few different algorithms that can be used for this game. 
In this project I am going to mainly explore the genetic algorithm and compare it with random play and simple heuristic play. In addition to that, reinforcement learning can also be good to find a good strategy for Jerry. I might implement it if I have extra time. That's all I have for this video. Can't wait to see the power of genetic algorithm.